بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. So welcome to this second part of the tutorial on how to serialize with the JSON library. So I remember that in the first part we have serialized the class book and made some example in the test class here. So now we are going to consider the class library that contains an array list of books. Okay, that we call books here. And what we want to do is to save all the books in the array list into a file using the JSON format. So for this, we are going to create one function for saving the, the files and another function for loading the files from the JSON file to the array list. So the first, uh, the first thing we do, we save from the array list into a file that we specify with a file name and another function that does the opposite transformation or this uh, so that it takes from the file and put in the array list so the first function is called save to json so first of all we need to create a file f okay so here we put the file name we put in parameter And then we need to create a file writer to be able to write inside the file. Okay, I put a new file writer. And here we put f as parameter. So this is the file writer. We need to add the uh, throws uh, exception here. And then, of course, we need to create the JSON object. Okay, new. JSON. This will allow to convert any of uh, the object into uh, into a JSON string line. Now, for every object book in the in the array list of books, we are going to create a JSON line. Okay, and how to create it? I'm going to use the JSON object dot to JSON, and then I will put the book element. So for every book in the array list of books, the books here. And finally, I need to add this JSON line into the file. And finally, I don't forget to close the file writer. So it is as simple as this. In order to make the line an independent line, so I just need to add slash n so that I make sure it's going to write the JSON into one line and goes to the next line for the next JSON. Now, for uh, the load from file, it's the opposite. Now, I will have uh, the, all the JSON lines stored in the line. But first of all, let's make a trial. So what we will do now, we are going to go to test. Now we have these two books. Okay, I'm going to create a new library. Okay, I'm going to call it lib equal a new library. Okay, to show the impact of the save. Okay, so this is a new library. Uh, in the beginning, it's empty. It doesn't have anything. So I'm going to to print the content of the library. Uh, Okay, so now I will use this library. I will add the two books. So I will access the books array and then I will add the first book, book one. Okay, lib.books. And then I will add the second book, book two. So now the two books are added to this array list. And finally, if I want to save in a file, I'm going to make lib dot, uh, lib dot save to JSON file. And here I'm going to write books.json. This is the, you can give any name. Okay. And finally, I will execute run file. Okay, it's done. So we can now open 
This is books.json created. And if you open, you will find the two books created. This is the book one, and this is the second book. Okay, now, if I add the third book, okay, for example, now I'm going to make lead.books.add, let's say b1, b1 that you have created before. Okay, and then we test, we run the file, and finally we can see that now we have three books stored in the JSON format. And now we would like to do the opposite way. We have the books array list that is empty in the beginning and you would like to load all the books from the JSON file. So for this, we need to open a file, okay, a new file. And we put the file name, okay. Then since we are going to read, we can use a scanner. I'm going to write it file input equal new scanner. Okay, uh, so it's going to read from the file. And as usual, we create a JSON object equal new JSON. Okay, and then while file input dot has next, okay, or here we need to read line by line, so I'm going to use next line. Okay, uh, we need to add an exception. We need, uh, so in this case, I'm going to create a JSON line. So this JSON line will be the line that I will read from the file. Okay, from, uh, so next, next line, I'm going to have the JSON line now. And then I will create the book object out of this JSON line using our famous JSON object. Okay, and now we use from JSON. So from JSON, First of all, it takes the JSON line that, I, that contains the JSON string and then the type of the class to which we cast, as you know, as, as I explained in the first part. So now I'm going to take it from the class book.class. And that's pretty much it. And finally, I have I got now the book from the line and I will add it into the books, into the books uh, array list. And finally, I just need to close, I just need to close the scanner. And that's it. Now we can test. I have here test lib. Okay, uh, function, uh, this is a test uh, class. It contains an empty main function now. So first of all, I'm going to create a library, <coughs> new library here, sorry. And uh, so I'm going to print the lib.books in the beginning. So as you can see, it's empty. There are no books. And then I'm going to do lib.load from file. Okay, and I specify the file that contains the JSON that I have, where I have saved the JSON lines. It's book.json. Okay, it's this file here. Okay, that contains, uh, and then we can print again the different books and this is after loading the books and finally after running so you can see library books after loading so we have three books loaded these are the same three books that are saved in the JSON file okay so I hope with this example now it becomes clear on how to use the JSON library to serialize and deserialize uh, a JSON uh, a, a Java uh, object. Okay, we have also learned how to load and to save uh, an array list of objects to a file and from a file. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.